All right, so welcome to another edition of the <laughs> we vlog. We bless you, it's us. My name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. And uh, we're happy to be back on your screens. Today, as you can see from the caption, we're talking about how it took a village um, to help us make our stay in the Netherlands better. Yes, and if you hear some baby sounds, there's a small baby. <laughs> Yeah, he's always the around. Of our eye. <laughs> yeah, our boss is always around. And yeah, it takes a village or how the Netherlands has um, treated us in our stay here. And that's what we want to just recap. I think it's more like a gratitude vlog or. Vlog yeah, class. and I also think um, it really takes a village as kind of a, a plea to ask for help whenever you need it. Um, Kwame has made uh, quite a few um, videos with uh, Asetana on mental health and we think even as a new parent it's okay to uh, ask for help and um, it really takes a village <laughs> so that's why we thought this would be a great to share. way yeah, to share what, what has been happening with us uh, here from the beginning we take it from the like we take it from scratch uh, even before we traveled in arranging um, a lot of things we had a lot of help Mm -hmm. yeah so you you want to uh, yeah so um let me fix it i think the oh, the first thing we did was asking ourselves where we would want to be uh when we're in netherlands or if we're, if we we're going to be in ghana or netherlands and for me it was like more an emotional decision to be in the Netherlands, be close to my family, my sisters, my brother, and my friends here as well. And then, of course, you need to get to the practical side of things. And we got a lot of help there. Um, I've asked many friends if they knew somebody who was going on holiday for a long time yeah. or if people would be maybe out of their house and they would want to rent it to us um, anywhere close to... Um, my hometown would have been great and yeah. um, we just started with texting calling and in the end uh, my parents really came true because because of their network we found uh, not one but two places to stay or actually three because in the beginning we stayed with them for 10 days mm -hmm. it was a good way to land from the craziness of moving houses in ghana and yeah then... just literally 10 days before traveling back here or traveling here yeah so it was a good good way to just land and uh, be at home mm -hmm. um, while the other places which had been arranged with their help were getting ready um, sorry for us to move there so it was was good yeah and uh, in the end we ended up uh, for one or five weeks in one house of uh, of a friend of my parents who uh, went uh, to Australia which was a really nice house and um, it was close to a small lake I think you've seen that in the video on the on the New Year's the dive yeah. yes so it was fun and it was in my own old hometown but it was still in another neighborhood so it was like close to home but not too familiar and then in the end, we ended up in another house of people who also had uh, a daughter abroad and they went to visit her. And our old, the old neighbor of my parents who has moved to this village uh, asked in the WhatsApp group of the village if anybody was going away for a long time. And then if they had a space, yeah. Yeah. And these people normally didn't want to rent out their house, but because it went through somebody they know they were willing to meet us and then we took it from there and it was a great uh, stay so far we still have a small week to go but yeah and this is where we are at the moment so yeah it's so, so even from scratch yeah people have been on board with um, helping us because if we would have done it the other way by ourselves if i should put it that way then mm -hmm. we would have been paying extremely um, huge amounts for yeah. rent and it probably wouldn't even be close enough to where we wanted to be, especially um, considering the fact that coming here was to be close to um, Elaine's family yeah, for ease of access to them, as well as ease of access to the health um, care system where she wanted to, um, or we wanted to have the baby. So, Yeah, and even outside of more, this was more like a, a place to stay, so it was quite a logistical puzzle, but... Even uh, with a lot of the things we we needed, like 
Um, it's now winter in Netherlands, so it's quite cold. But of course in Ghana, we won't need the winter clothes for the baby. So what I did, um, of all the things we needed for the baby, I made a list of the things we already have and the things we were still pending. And then I first asked my other um, mama friends, <laughs> he's doing a number two <laughs> on the vlog. I don't know if people can hear it. I don't think so. Um, so uh, I asked my other mama friends like, okay, I'm still looking for this and this and this. Uh, could you, do you still have those? Or yeah, maybe um, you can advise on where to get them. And bless you. Bless you. <laughs> and they really came through. Um, I hope Kwame has some B-roll to show on all the clothes that we got, but it was, it was really nice. We had a whole wardrobe for him, winter clothes and everything. And um, we got so many like burp cloths, um, bath capes. Just the like, basics. And even um, his uh, his bed downstairs, um, which is actually made in Ghana. We, we got it from to borrow from friends who first lived in Ghana and brought their, um, their basket here. Yeah. I mean, it's really nice to have him laying something from Ghana uh, while we are here in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, so that was really nice as well. We even got a, a, a stroller, yeah. uh, which is a huge thing <laughs> for me. Yeah. And I also got a pumping machine, and which has been very essential um, in like kind of the feeding journey. So yeah, our friends or our really mom friends, through. yeah, really came through and it was also nice because then you could have a conversation about what do you really need and what do you, don't you need? Because the whole baby business also is a lot of marketing and like has a commercial purpose. So it's good to also discuss like, okay, this I really didn't need, but this might be yeah. nice to get. Yeah. So it was outside of the stuff we could borrow and get. And it was also a lot of advice and yeah, just sharing experiences. So that was really good. Yeah. So that was for the pre um, prepping f before the baby came and uh, after the baby came or before the baby came or during the labor time as well. We also had uh, a lot of help, especially when uh, Elaine's sister flew in and uh, during the time when the labor was happening, she was with us the whole time because uh, the labor took uh, longer than we had expected. Yeah. And we, we were not any, at any moment feeling like, yeah, we're alone in this or we're doing it alone. Yeah. And I think also logistical wise one, um, my parents borrowed our, uh, their car to us. Yeah. They, uh, they have, um, two cars, um, and then they let us have one for the entire time we would be here that we didn't have to even yeah. think about transportation or lack a way of moving around if we had to. Yeah, and then especially with doing groceries now, it's just nice that you don't have to worry about how to get there and not buy too many things. You can just, you know, get everything you need and put it in the car and drive back. And the the location we are now is also a bit more remote in Dutch terms. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not it, a little without... more remote. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch friends have visited and even them think that, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So I think she'd be modest. It's, it's, it's remote. Yeah, so you need a car to move around. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. So that one was also very essential. It's almost impossible. <laughs> and then for us in the first week, um, I was still very much recovering. And we were already dealing with a lack of sleep from the labor because it took longer than we expected. And of course, there was a little one we had to take care of who also didn't sleep a lot. Um, three hours max in one go. Um, so we had lots of help. Um, my siblings came through, they made sure groceries were actually delivered, which was uh, such a good moment because we, we just moved to the second house and we didn't really have a lot of prep time because the labor was going on. Yeah. So I was really worried about what we're going to eat this week because there's nothing in the house. But then they made sure that we had groceries, which was really great. And they also made sure that they came to cook. Um, my mom also came to take care of us and the baby. Um, bringing food over, yes. apart from cooking, they also bring food over sometimes. Just 
Yeah. So um, you have enough to eat in the night and maybe early in the morning, so you don't have to do anything. Yeah, and also just people checking on us, like, how are you doing? Are you okay? Do we need anything? Can we do anything? Which was really nice. And in the Netherlands, that's quite a unique system. So when you get home from the hospital or, or you just got your baby at home, because a lot of babies are born at home in the Netherlands, which is quite unique, um, you have... Um, like a, a nurse at home, we call it Kramzorg, and they stay with you for a week. Uh, when well, they don't, they don't stay in, they don't no, sleep in your no, house. No, no, but they, <laughs> they, they come to your, your house every day yeah. uh, to help you uh, with the newborn, help you with your household, um, get they, you, they learn, they teach, teach you, you, sorry, they yeah. teach you everything you need to know about your newborn, how to bathe them, how to take care of them, how to do the diaper, how to recognize which cry is what. Yeah. And um, yeah, all these things. It's it's really, we had a really very, very um, knowledgeable lady and she was very caring as well for the baby and also for us um, because at some point we were really sleep deprived. So then she was like, you guys. We really still haven't need- recovered though, <laughs> but <laughs> you, now it's better. You guys really need to sleep because otherwise you're not going to manage. So it was like a little reminders of things, yeah, on how to take care of yourself in such a dynamic time. Mm. I think that was really great. And when she left, we were both a bit like, hmm, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a, it's a great system that it actually exists in the Netherlands. And yeah, I think, what else? Yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. And, and even now that um, things are getting better in terms of like how we're um, managing or handling our <laughs> boss, um, still every now and then people pass by, um, people, um, no, Elaine's siblings mostly would pass by, would uh, cook for us and then spend an evening with us. And besides that, I mean, the general culture of having a baby and having a, uh, a village or mm-hmm. a group of or a network of friends around you is that people would like to visit and share gifts as well. So which is something that yeah, has been yeah. happening That's true. Um, in between the visits that no, it's not visits in between the family time being here, them cooking for us, them taking care of us every now and then um, in the beginning, it was more. But now it gets like less and less. But every now and then they just offer to come and cook. Yeah. And, um, just, but even yeah. the amount of cards we got, uh, it's it's really crazy. And at some point, we every morning we had packages <laughs> waiting yeah, for us, us like cards with some small gift or some so many books. Yes, books, but and uh, toys. Yeah, and like a relaxing package for us. And it was like people were really showing up, and it also makes you feel like okay, <laughs> we're not like we're still just things but people are thinking of us so it also makes you feel like more like cared for and supported yeah it was really nice yeah yeah so so for us the 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 the, the import of making this video is is more um, to also compare uh, culturally I think it's a cultural difference but in Ghana when we say it takes a village it's it, it's a different kind of um, way of doing things in Ghana with your family and everything sometimes, or not sometimes, most of the time, if you're a first time mother, you, your mother would probably live with you for a mm-hmm. while and uh, teach you and like take care of the baby as well. And your friends would um, come over every now and then um, to help out, but it's mostly uh, your mother and your closest family who yeah. take up a lot of the um, things, but we have experienced it in a different way where, um, in Netherlands, a lot of the things that we needed to arrange that we couldn't be physically available had been done Mm -hmm. and people were just pulling strings from their networks and just getting things done for us. And when the baby came, they also came here to just be with us, help us. And yeah, it's, it's been an incredible, um, three months from the last stages of the pregnancy to having the baby till yeah. now. So that's that's basically what we wanted to share. And if any of them are watching this video right now, we just want to say that we're really, really grateful. Yeah, really thank you for making. It's also more memorable when you do it together. I mean, we could have arranged stuff on our own, but yeah. in the end, like 
it's nice to do it together like you come way 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 further together and yeah um yeah it's it's also nice i i find it also a nice feeling that um the baby comes into like a community of people yeah um and because we are also just parents like we're just trying but it's good that the baby has other people to learn things from as well and that people are there for for him um yeah so we're very grateful for the community and the village so far and we hope to tighten the village even more (laughs) more everywhere we go that we live we we hope to just um have a closer knit uh yeah people that are in our corner yes so thanks for everybody (laughs) who was in our corner (laughs) doing (laughs) this crazy roller coaster thank you to everybody yes we're really really grateful and um if you want to catch up on other videos especially with our culture shock and other cultural conversations you can check them up on the screen at yes. the moment we'll catch you in the next one my name is Kwame and I mean I'm Elaine and this is me plus you <laughs> it's is us catch you next time bye